हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप मदान आई एम एनाटमी फैकल्टी एंड टूडे आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माई फिफ्टीन डेज फिफ्टीन कंसेप्ट सीरीज एंड इन दिस सीरीज टूडे वी हैव रीच डे फाइव एंड ऑन दिस डे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन मोर कंसेप्ट सो वट इज द कंसेप्ट टूडे लेट एस डिस्कस टूगेदर सो यू सी वेन इन द वेरी इनिशियल पीरियड वेन द गोनेडल डेवलपमेंट इज टेकिंग प्लेस वी नो द मेल्स and the females they have the counterparts right for example gonad will be present in case of male in the form of testes then inguinal canal will be present and lower down we have the scrotal sac but if you compare with the female they have the gonad in the form of ovary inguinal canal is same and with respect to the scrotum what is present is the uh, labia right and one thing is additional in case of female that is uterus so when we place the gubernaculum in position gubernaculum is actually present from the gonad up to the labioscrotal swelling so in case of male it will be the scrotum in case of female it will be labia so in case of female gubernaculum will be present just like the males but the only difference is on its way it will touch the uterus like this and one more difference is going to happen what is that in case of male the testis will descend so testis is going to descend you see it will travel on its pathway it will pass via the deep ring inguinal canal superficial ring and then finally it will reach the scrotal sac once it has taken place the descent of the testis has taken place the gubernaculum in the males is almost insignificant you can say it is kind of lost but if you compare with the female anatomy now in the female gubernaculum will not be lost gubernaculum will persist so it will be now converted into two ligaments one between the ovary and the uterus that is ovarian ligament and the second between the uterus and the labia that is round ligament so both ovarian ligament and the round ligament Uh, are the derivatives of the gubernaculum now when you look at this picture it will give you like insight about the arrangement how see if i ask you normally i i have seen the students uh, like when they answer about the contents of the inguinal canal they have simply remembered okay somehow mugged up that uh, uh, round ligament is the content in case of female for in the inguinal canal that is true but i believe now looking at this concept it will give you clear idea why the round ligament is the content over here second point over here we know that these are the derivative these are present and if i ask you about the lymphatics of the uterus now uterus being a pelvic structure it is a deep viscera how come one part of uterus is going to drain the lymphatics of the uterus is going to drain uh, into the superficial inguinal lymph nodes it is because of that area which surrounds the round ligament limb from that part it will travel via the round ligament along the round ligament it will reach the labia and via this it will be draining into the superficial inguinal lymph nodes so i hope you enjoyed this concept so keep on learning with me we'll continue with this series we'll meet with the day 6 with the next concept thank you so much everyone take care bye bye